Hey everybody, how's it going man? My name is Chris and this is the Curse of Monkey Island, also known as Monkey Island 3 and I thought it it is time to play another adventure. I, um, for those of you who know, who know my, uh, my type of gameplay, I like um, story driven games, um, I like uh, adventures, especially the Broken Sword series, I really like them. And um, yeah, I haven't played this game for a long, long, long time. And um, fun fact, it was uh, one of the very first games that I that I owned back in the day. Um, and uh, this was uh, I had the uh, the Monkey Island collection uh, one, two, three, and um, yeah, I I think I even started with this one because I don't know I was like twelve years old or whatever, and uh, this seems seemed to me as more appealing, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I haven't played this for like, pff, I don't know, maybe like eight years, seven years, I don't know. And it's a really, really cool and fun adventure, so you don't need to really know about the the previous installments. There are some refer references though, um, but it isn't really necessary, so that's why I started with this one here. And yeah, of course, we're playing the Curse of Monkey Island, the Mega Monkey, so this is basically the same game, but with more puzzles, so... This is more interesting, more challenging, more fun. Let's do this. Monkeys are listening, yeah. You know when you were in the cinema and you uh, there was this THX intro that I was playing back in the days? It was so nice. Captain's log, Guybrush Threepwood. Lost at sea for days now. I have no crew or navigational instruments. No provisions except a half-eaten corn dog, and unless I find water soon, I'm surely done for. Only the hope of finding my love, Elaine, keeps me going. Well, my quest for the fabulous treasure called Big Whoop has left me in this sorry state. I thought it would bring me fame and glory. Instead, it delivered me into the clutches of my enemy, the zombie pirate LeChuck. I thwarted his evil plot to marry Elaine, and he was after revenge. Uh, really, really thirsty now. If only I could have a small drink of fresh water, I might have the strength to sail on. Oh, but I know there's nothing but ocean for miles and miles. If I could reach land, I might find water and some food. Fruit, maybe. Something to fight off the scurvy and help me get my strength back. Mm, maybe some bananas. Oh, why do I torture myself like this? I might as well wish for some chicken and a big mug of grog for all the good it'll do me. Oh, my sweet Elaine. Am I cursed to starve here on this ocean without seeing your face just one more time? Am I...
times do I have to tell you, LeChuck? I just don't feel that way about you. Elaine? By my congealed blood, you'll learn to love me. Sail with me, and I'll make you queen of the dead. I, I can't. I'm washing my hair tonight. Blast me your hair, woman! Can't you see that this salty old sea corpse pines for your every gentle caress? You know, I don't think my father would approve of me dating the undead. And you're probably too nice a zombie pirate for me anyway. Let's just be friends instead. Chuck, you're an evil, foul-smelling, vile, codependent villain, and that's just not what I'm looking for in a romantic relationship right now. Darn your riddles, you saucy female! What do you mean? Ah! Oh! You're a bloodthirsty monster who's already kidnapped me once, tortured my friends, and taken from me the only man I ever loved, Guybrush Threepwood. <sighs> Ah, uh, how romantic. Ship ahoy! Threepwood! Fish him out. Guybrush? Guybrush, Threepwood. By my gangrenous gut, I don't know how you escaped my carnival of the damned. But you won't escape a taste of my blade! <laughs> ah! Oh, the lass has spirit. Throw him in the hold. I'll finish him after the battle. Turn loose the long boots! And prepare the flaming voodoo cannonball. Oh my god, how evil. Man, I just have to say, everybody who skips the intro music uh, should be hanged, man. Dude, the intro music is so good. I've got to get out of here and help Elaine. If I could only get through this one door. Well, then I could easily overpower the armed guards above, slip over the side, and make for the shore. Quit your mumbling, captive! <laughs> Alright, one second. I need to figure something out here. Uh, give me one second. Dog! Alright, I put out the, uh, the subtitles. This so yeah, um, make you rue that this day. was Elaine. Uh, Elaine was once a governor, I think she already, uh, she still is a governor of, uh, Different islands, I believe, and uh, she and this guy here are deeply in love, uh, and the, the other guy, LeChuck, is his sworn enemy. So yeah, um, let me just... Okay, this was in my inventory. I have some uh, balloons, helium balloons. Uh, I think I have to hold it down, right? Yeah. Examine, use, and inhale. Yeah, right. Oh, that made my voice sound funny. <laughs> Alright, uh... The little things, man, the little things. Okay, there are cannonballs here. Can I grab one of those? Mm, they're too heavy to carry. So has this helium lingers here. Ramrod. Looks like a ramrod for the cannon. Okay, can I take that? Okay. Easy. Let's see if you can take so yeah, it's uh, it's been a long time since I played this and I will probably uh, won't remember every every uh puzzle here, but I guess this is uh, the most interesting part. So let's talk to this one here. Push him. Your fort to if I rough him up, he may shoot me. Stay away. So what can we do? Um, hello, please don't kill me. Hello, um, please don't kill me. Oh, don't worry about it. I don't. Um, I mean, you'd best beg for your life, you. Fetid flounder! Woe be to ye who fall victim to the zombie pirate Lachak! 
You sound pretty tough. Is that hook for real? Is that a real eye patch? Are you wearing a fake beard? Yeah, of course he is. Are you wearing a fake beard? Blood knows the pirate would not have a fake beard. Yes, it is. It's been glued to your ear hair. <laughs> Actually, it's a highly sophisticated beard weave. Made from the chest and back hair of real pirates. Yikes. I'm hoping it'll take root if I don't wash it for a while. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. You're not a pirate. Wally! Don't you recognize me? It's Guybrush Threepwood! Oh, gee. Hello, Mr. Wood. The last time I saw you, we were prisoners in LeChuck's dungeon. Why would you sign on with a ship of the living dead? Well, Mr. Brush, at first I had some misgivings about it. But thanks to LeChuck's seminars, motivational lectures, and audio books on Parrot, I've become a vicious Corsair. You can too. Ask me how. Uh, one second. I still need to figure out something. Uh, if I increase the subtitle speed from 113 to maybe like uh, 130, what does that do? Let's see. Uh, Tell me about these seminars. The seminars really brought things into focus. You don't know how empowering it is to be able to say to yourself, Yes, I am a despicable, filthy, villainous pirate. Deserving blame and censure. But that pirate is who I want to be. Everyone was really very supportive. We had this great feeling of synergy. Then, LeChuck kicked down the door and said, You lazy scum! Get back to work, or I'll beat you with your own legs! Alright, um... I just want to figure something out. Oh, Subtitles, what if I put this up to 255? Let's just... I want to see. Tell me about uh, all the world. Tell me about these audiobooks. Doesn't really matter, right? To become a pirate, the audio books on Parrot are the key. Ah, okay. You get a set of twelve parrots. All right. I'm sorry. Really, really sorry. Really, really sorry. So you have to put it down. There's always like a like a lingering effect, right? So if I put it like this, one a month. Return as many yeah. as you like. Keep them all and live. They teach you to talk just like a pirate. All the key phrases are in there. Blow the man down. Shiver me timbers. Who's a pretty bird? All the phrases a pirate needs to command respect on the high seas. Uh huh. So yeah, uh, it's basically the other way around, right? So there uh, was always like this delay um, where you, where this game, the game sound wouldn't move on until you read the, uh, the subtitle. I think now it's all right, is it? I mean, you just have to tell me if I should lower it again. But I think it's all right. Tell me about these motivational lectures. Well, they weren't lectures as such. It was what LeChuck described as flogging the inner child. Do you have any literature I could look at? Here. This leaflet explains the basic philosophy I follow. Okay, uh, what's behind the door? What's behind that door? Ooh! That's the door to LeChuck's treasure hold. There's heaps and piles of gold and silver. He's brought all the loot he's ever stolen to give to Elaine. LeChuck is convinced that he can buy Elaine's love. Hmm. <laughs> Set me free, Wally. I can't, Mr. Brush. I'm the evil pirate Bloodnose now. And besides, 
Even if you got up on deck, LeChuck would cut you to ribbon. I'm not afraid, man. What are LeChuck's plans? He's been working on a secret weapon. Some incredibly powerful cannonball. He's going to use it to blow down the walls of the fort. So his crew can overrun the island. Snap out of it, Wally. That's blood nose to you, you scurvy sea bass. <laughs> You're a failure as a pirate. Shut your trap, you yellow-bellied blowfish. One more peep out of you, and I'll do you in. Peep. Peep. Yes, scabrous swab. One more word, and I'll let you have it. Word. That's it. I'm gonna blast you. I'm gonna... I'm... gonna... <laughs> oh, I can't do it. I just can't. <laughs> You're right, Mr. Wood. I'm just not a pirate. I'm not ferocious or bloodthirsty or hateful or anything. I'm not even... I'm not even unpleasant. <laughs> oh. Oh, poor Wally. Oh, there, there. Poor Wally. Poor Wally. Um, so he's out of the picture now. Uh, let's uh, get that plastic hook. Uh, cannonball's keyhole. Let's see. I see a diorama of the children of the world living in peace and freedom. Nice. No, wait. It can't be that. Shut up. It's just too dark to make out what's in there. Okay, um... Wait, there was something with a, with a cannon, I think. I don't have my lockpicking tools. Let's see, um, let's... Can we operate it? I think we can, right? Ah, this one, yeah, we have to destroy these, uh, boats. But we can also, uh, fire here. Oops. <laughs> They're really liking that. <laughs> that was me. Uh, sorry. sorry, my bad, I guess. Whoops. Alright, mate. What were you shooting? <laughs> Sorry, mate. My problem my, my bad. Oops. Oops. My fault. Shit. Alright, one is missing. Are you sorry you won't? Okay. Hey, I'm getting pretty good at this. Ooh, gross. All the bones and stuff are floating towards the ship. <laughs> uh, I think we can, yeah. I can't quite squeeze past this cannon. <laughs> well, they messed with the wrong skull this Ah, uh, yeah, this is <laughs> Murray, right? To the talking skull. Can I call you Bob? <laughs> Lose something. Lose something? I am Murray, the invincible demonic skull. Quake in fear, mortal. For your insolence, I shall now devour you. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Could you... Uh, uh, could you pick me up so I can bite you? No. I just thought I'd ask. All right, uh... You know, you look great with a melting candle on your forehead. <laughs> I get the feeling you're not taking me very seriously. No, I am, really. Really? Then let me hear you scream in terror. Oh. <laughs> 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 I like Murray. Uh, you're some... <laughs> you're about as fearsome as a doorstop. Is it a really evil-looking doorstop? Uh, never mind. All right, we cannot. Re <laughs> Was your mother's father bald too? <laughs> Was your mother's father bald too? I'm not bald. I just have a really high widow's peak. All right, uh, we can't really do anything without him. Um, I'm going, I'm going now. now. So we Good. want to pick up this thing here. Now leave me alone. Yeah. I have a lot of scheming and evil plotting to do. <laughs> 
this thing, uh, I want to have that. Uh, so we can combine those. Uh, wait. I don't need to wear a hook. How was it? I have two good hands. I like this, okay. Hey, that's my arm. Give that back. Shut up. All right, we're getting uh, we're going back here. So we have to blast this door open, and there is this enormous cannon here. So we can just <laughs> cut this down. So yeah, some some puzzles I do remember, uh, others I don't. Um, we'll we'll see. Aha, taste cold steel, people cannon restraint rope. There are probably like a thousand puzzles here in this game. All right, uh, let's operate it. Not very safe. Not very safe. With the demon flames of this voodoo cannonball, I'll blast my significant other into the significant other world. <laughs> That'll show her how much I truly care. <laughs> <laughs> Neptune's navel. That was a close one. No, it's sinking. Uh, hey, I lost my cutlass when the ship capsized. I saw those riches here, man. Look at all those riches. Um, rotation device, music box. It's got a zombie ballerina. <laughs> Can I play it? It got broken when the ship capsized. Portray? It's LeChuck and all his gory. Uh, glory. <laughs> I see more than enough of him already. I think I've never played this uh, in English. Look, the chocolates. Chocolate covered barnacles, marshmallow hooks, sea urchins, glass eyes. Ugh. Ugh that stuff is disgusting. Even for a pirate. Marry me or die. Touching. Uh, home appliances. What is this? A beautiful high capacity washer and dryer combination. Hey, it's the songs for Undead Lovers collection. Teddy bear. It's stabbed through the heart. Cute and yet sinister. So, uh, the plan here is, uh, where was it even? Um, rotation device? I don't even want to know what LeChuck's plans were for that. Um. It's a bag of wooden nickels. I remember that we need to... Some treasure. We need to cut the glass here. Hey, ah. there's a big diamond ring behind this bag. There we have it. So yeah, we have this big diamond ring. Uh, we have some, some some nickels here. Dude, why is he picking up the nickels and not the gold? What an idiot. Guybrush? Guybrush! I thought I'd lost you forever! Is it really you? Yes, Elaine. Um, did you really mean what you said out there? That I was the only man you ever loved? Uh, well, yes, Guybrush, I guess I did. Elaine, I'm a man of action. A swashbuckler, a rogue, a wanderer, a man who can hold his breath for ten minutes. I have no ties and no regrets. I sail with the wind and go where adventure takes me. But somehow, something always Guy leads me. Guybrush, stop babbling. Elaine, will you marry me? Oh, Guybrush. Oh, Wally? You're alive. But how did you survive the explosion? I was thrown clear. I'm just lucky I wasn't wearing my seatbelt. Wow, Elaine, that's some ring. Thank you, Wally. It's an engagement ring from Guybrush. Hey, that looks just like the big diamond ring that Chuck had in his treasure hold. You know, the one with that ghastly, disfiguring voodoo curse on it? Well, I'm sure Guybrush wouldn't have given you that ring. Anyway, I gotta be going. I hear there's a tattoo removal place on this island that's freckle safe. <laughs> See you at the wedding. Guybrush! Uh... <laughs> Ah. <laughs> 
So yeah, we finished part one. It was a really, a really uh, small part only. Very oh, easy. Oh no, then. Elaine. She's not gonna be happy about this. Man, who says women aren't valuable? All right. Um, I think I will end the session here now. So uh, I will do this little. Small, small episodes like 20 25 minutes. Um, and now we are in part two, and we have this whole island to explore. And we need to cu cure Elaine here. Uh, although I don't know, I, I like her the way she is. Um, but yeah, um, so really hope you enjoy this, uh, this kind of, of game gameplay. I really like adventures, I like the, the old school adventures. And Monkey Island, uh, is always a favorite of mine. Same goes for, uh, like I said earlier, Broken Swords. But yeah, hope you have a great day, guys. We'll see each other real soon. Take care.